What's going on guys, I is Fuego here and I'm here to let you guys know about a new weapon that came out a couple days ago. It's called the MX Grand and it's such a beast weapon and I'm just so, so grateful and that I'm fortunate enough to have this weapon. I mean it's just a beast and I was lucky enough to pull this out of a rare supply drop. No, I'm not sponsored. I didn't get this out of like, you know, Activision or nothing like that. But it's cool that I was able to get one and I'm so happy that I actually did because this gun is so beast and believe it or not if if you guys haven't invested in rare supply drops you've just been doing commons i very sincerely urge you to reconsider go for that rare supply drop pick yourself up at mx garant and watch you know watch a game drastically change i mean i'm telling you it's one of the best rifles i've played with in a very long time usually my gun of choice is the man of war and I, I've always liked the Man of War, but this is definitely either a close second or a, an upcoming first favorite. Like, it's it's really so good, you know, that, it, you know, if you can manage to, to use the gun properly, then you're going to find yourself getting, you know, 30, 40, 50 plus games on a normal basis. Like, that's, it, it's just... It's just how it's going to be. If you if you fail to understand like how to use the MX Garand, that's what today is going to be about. We're going to be talking the, about the MX Garand. Let you guys know the pros and cons about the uh, about the weapon itself. Let you guys know what what exactly is good about the gun, what's not good about the gun. You know there are a few flaws, not necessarily flaws, but there are a few things that you should take note when you're using the MX Garand so that you can maximize your potential um, usage while you're using that that specific gun. So the first, uh, first we're going to start with the pros. The best pro for me is that it's a very fast fire rate. This rifle is completely different from the Shiva. In my opinion, the Shiva is, it's a slower um, rifle. It, it's not exactly the same type of, you know, semi-auto it feels a lot different the semi-auto that we're used to playing with the shiva is sort of like a slow take your time but be precise you know and, and, and stuff like that whereas this gun it's like the mk14 from modern warfare 3 it's just extremely fast you can rapid fire on that uh, uh, on any of your enemies and it's just extremely fast and you saw that kill right there the time to kill is also very short it's just it's extremely versatile it's got very low manageable recoil you can always adjust I, I don't even think I'm using grip in this uh, on this uh, loadout right here but you can very very much manage to recoil and that combined with the fast fire rate you can pretty much spam you know like a line rifle or anything like that you can it's like a laser practically you can just kind of shoot the gun and, and it'll just stay in the same direction that it's always going to be at so one of my benefits that i like to do is just like again if you want if you want to get the angle on somebody you can just always spam at the door until you get the kill one of the other things that you can do is just pick people off from long range without having to really do anything. You can also adjust. You can, you know, you can shoot on the fly. One of the best ways that I use the MX Garand is hip firing it. And I'll tell you why. With the very low crosshair, what I like to do is run laser sight. And running laser sight for me gives me that opportunity to use it like the brushy shotgun. I like using a brushy shotgun sometimes, not all the time though. But when you have a rifle like this, it feels like a hybrid of a shotgun and an auto rifle. So essentially, you're running something like the brushy plus the Shiva put together. You're putting range, but you're also putting the fire rate and, and you know and the damage aspect that you need and that's kind of something that I've been looking for because the brecci to me is very annoying I really do not like the brecci I think it's a little bit too powerful I it, that's my opinion it's not a very popular opinion even some of my friends are a little pissed off that I think that the brecci is you know is overpowered that's just how I think it is that's just how I like to think of the brushing but uh, you know that's just that just goes to show you know that this rifle has the capability to use you know the brecci's you know fast fire rate and laser sight skills plus you know the range of the shiva and you can you basically just use it as an alt uh, as a hybrid 
and you can just you know kind of work with it however you like to you can either go short range you can go with the laser sight or you can just go with a with the very fast rate of fire you already have slap on a red dot quick draw you don't even really need grip and it's just it, it's so good to use now some of the cons of this gun are going to be a little bit daunting for example it's very very it's got a very very small magazine it's only got eight bullets standard in the chamber and that kind of scares some people because especially me i don't necessarily run extended mags all the time to me i feel like it's a waste of you know an attachment but for a gun like this i would make an exception just because like it's only got eight bullets and one of the one of the bad things about this gun is that it requires two bullets to kill regardless of headshot multiplier like you really have to have two shots so don't even worry about headshots unless you're going for a challenge work on you know body shots bigger targets you know easier for you to hit you know because you're gonna need two two um two bullets to kill anyway so even if on um, the only exception to this is if you have high caliber if you have high caliber on your class setup i'm pretty sure you can get away with uh a, a one shot kill i'm not sure i haven't tested this out but as far as i know it's been two shots to kill regardless of any headshot. And that's just something that I'm not very comfortable with. That combined with the small magazine, I highly recommend that if you're going for a large skill, uh, score streak, you go with extended mags and fast mags. That's how I would like you know, to run it, especially when I'm going for high kill streaks. If I'm gonna go for something like, you know, a, a, a mothership or a raps, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need, you know, that time to kill to you know to be complemented by the amount of ammo that i have so definitely what you want to do is run fast mag because it's got not a slow it doesn't have a slow you know reload speed but you want to be able to get those next eight bullets as quickly as possible one of the other things that is a that's a con uh, on this gun is that you absolutely have to run out of bullets before you reload and that's just something that i hate it's very i'm very compulsive when it comes to reloading like whenever so now i'm you know i'm i'm so used to reloading you know as soon as i you know finish killing an enemy now i have to you know go that extra step i have to you know actually empty the entire clip i have to empty the entire clip in order for me to to go on feel comfortable with like more than half my mag and as a general rule I like to just have more than half of the magazine when I'm going into combat. Like, don't run in there with, like, two two bullets thinking that you're going to, you know, land all two of them. You're always going to have a chance that you're going to miss a bullet, and I would never risk that chance, especially when you're going for a high score streak. Going into a battle like that with, like, less than less than three bullets, that's not, that's not you know, worth it for me. That's not how I would definitely go about, you know, going into a battle. For me, that's just something that you you have to get used to. It, I definitely had to get used to, you know, reloading, you know, after the clip was empty. And that's just kind of, you know, we kind of have to deal with it. But if you think if you think of it a certain way, it gives you that, you know, it prevents you from going into a battle empty-handed. You know, you, you're very conscious of whether or not you're actually going to win a battle. So if you want to win that battle, empty the clip somewhere else. Yes, you might need to silence your gun just because you don't want to, you know, shout out where exactly your location is. If you want to rock that way, you know, I don't even do that sometimes. I just sometimes just shoot it um, randomly or whatever. I, I'm okay with it because as long as I get my magazine back, I can come back from, you know, from anything. You know, so and that and that's just kind of like how I play. That's my play style. Um, so what would I do? You know, if you play a certain game style, for me, if you're going again for the high streaks, or if you like to pick people from long range, go with the extended mag and fast mag combination. That's just my opinion. That's how I would run it. I don't run this setup because I'm always running and gunning. It's just how I do. As you can see, I'm just you know I usually use laser sight and quick draw. You know just because I am more comfortable with quick draw than anything but if you again if you like to be long distance that's how I would use it use the extended mag use fast mag so that you can get the the appropriate amount of ammo you know when you need it if you're if you're not doing that if you're using you know if you're using running gun class definitely laser sight quick draw fast mag. so uh, thank you guys so much for 
listening to this commentary hopefully you guys learn a little something from you know my tips and tricks i definitely like the mx garand it's definitely something that i would keep note especially if you're getting you know you know paces going on and stuff like that it's just extremely extremely useful for me and it's one of my favorite weapons now I absolutely love the gun I absolutely love how it works and it's just awesome to me it's an awesome gun to have as DLC and I highly recommend anybody who wants to try out a new gun definitely use it pick it up you know try to try to go for that rare rare case go for the epic <laughs> go for it bro uh, but again thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary if you did if you like the tips that I showed you guys definitely leave a like lets me know that you want more of these so I can make you guys some more Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys later before I go out.